So today I'm going to be showing the girls how to get the individual lash look at home for less than $30. So first of all, I did not know that the girls was doing lashes at home. I know, I know, I know that you can yeah. tell me what you want. If you guys are new here my name is Asia Marie be sure to like comment and subscribe so today I will be showing the girls how to do your lashes at home using the kiss falscara as well as lashes from the Dollar Tree so me and getting my lashes done have just not been seeing eye to eye I have went to multiple lash techs and I have never really been satisfied with my lashes. If you guys watched my breast reduction video, my lashes were a hot mess. So y'all, first of all, I didn't know that the girls was doing their lashes at home, okay? I didn't know, but when I found out, I was on a fast track to Target and Dollar Tree. I was watching Aaliyah's face and she was saying how her eyes were really irritated from individual lashes and so she found out about the Kiss Falscara lash kit. I'm gonna insert a picture of what this really looks like because I have been using this. So I was watching a few videos on YouTube and I really didn't see the girls do the lashes how I like my lashes to be done. So what I've been doing lately is I will use the Falscara lashes first but they're so thin and they don't give you that look of individual lashes. So I put these on first and then I layer them with the Dollar Tree lashes. So if you guys would like to see how I got this wispy natural volume set of lashes at home, then please keep watching. So here I am with no lashes whatsoever. I look so innocent, but not really. So what you'll need is the micellar cleansing water. I got this from Dollar Tree, as well as some cotton pads. And this is the Falscara Overnighter Lash Kit. I got this from Target for $24.99, but Ulta also sells this. As you can see, I only have the medium size left because I have been using this, but I'll show you guys how I just use the medium as my base. Now these are the Faux Mink Lashes by Ioni. I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're the Wispy Medium Full. These lashes are really long. They're equivalent to a 16 or 17 lash. Then these are the Wispy Natural Shorts. They're equivalent to a size 16 or maybe a 14. I use these to fill in in the middle. And then these also say Wispy Natural Shorts, but they're much shorter than the last ones, and I use them in the inner corner. So here I have some eyelash brushes. I got these from Shop Miss A. Some surgical tape. It's really soft. I use this to tape away my lower lashes. I have this eyelash fan that I got from Amazon. It's really cute and it works really well. Comes with a charger and a really good mirror. So let me get comfortable, let's scoot in, and let's get this popping. So first, I like to take my cotton pad and the micellar water, and I like to clean my eyelids and my lashes really, really well before working with them, just to make sure I don't have any makeup left over, any eye crust, dirt, etc you guys know how this goes with eyes you know eye boogers so i like to lift my eyelid and wipe underneath my lashes because that's where the glue and the lashes will be sticking to so you want to make sure that's really really clean and then i take my fan and make sure that my eyelashes are completely dry so now taking my Falscara kit, I like to take everything out of the package and get prepared. So here is the Bond and Seal. They also come with tweezers and the all-nighter glue. I like to take the cotton pad that I use to wash my eyes just to clean off my tweezers. And here I am taking the longest lash from the Dollar Tree. And I like to prepare them before I get started. So what I'm doing here is I like to take all of the lashes that I'm using out of the package 
and I'll show you guys here please don't mind my hands I work like a man sometimes <laughs> but these lashes when you take them out of the pack sometimes has glue still stuck on the band so what I like to do is pull the glue off and then set each lash aside um, I like to start with my outer corners and usually with the longest lash I only use two on each eye so you see me here just pulling off the glue so that's the only thing with these Dollar Tree lashes they are tedious unlike the Falscara lashes I don't have to do all of this work but it only takes a few minutes out of my time it's worth it so here I'm just showing you guys my setup these are just the wispy mediums and the medium lashes that were from the Falscara kit I didn't take out any of the shorts yet because I was trying to see how I wanted to double the long lashes first since I only had mediums. So here I was trying to figure out which lash was longer honestly because the packaging is different but the lash lengths are the same. They both say wispy shorts so I was trying to figure out which one looked shorter. So those looked shorter to me so I decided to put those in my inner corners. Okay, so now that I'm all zoomed in, I like to take my surgical tape and start taping away my lower lashes. I like to do one eye at a time because that tape gets in the way and I can't see. <laughs> Alright, the moment we have been waiting for. So here I am taking the Falscara Bond side. When you take a closer look at it, it just looks like a mascara wand. So if you have used mascara, then girl, you can do this. So I like to scrape as much glue as I can because baby, I need my lashes to stay. And here I am pulling my eyelids up. So my lashes are facing upward and then I am just brushing the glue on my lashes like I'm putting on mascara. Now one thing I've learned is it's best to not get the glue on the ends of your lashes. As you can see I'm only staying at the base and the middle of my lashes. I notice when I get glue on the tips of my lashes they tend to stick together and I can see them through my lashes. So. They work better when I don't go as far as the middle part of my lash. So I like to put a lot of layers. You may see me go back two or three times just to make sure that all of my lashes are coated. So here I am going in with my next coat. I usually do three coats. I do like to focus on the base of my lash because that's where your lash band will be sticking. So. I like to make sure that everything is coated. That's how my lashes last me two weeks. Here I'm grabbing my tweezers and my lashes and I'm going to grab the Ioni Wispy Medium Lash first. I like to start on my outer corners and work my way in. So the trick is to grab the lash from the tip and as you see the lash is curled upward so the top part of the lash is what will be sticking to the bottom part of your lash. So if you guys can see the way the lash is curved, that's exactly how you need to hold your lash. It's super easy. Once you get this trick down, it's going to be a breeze. So with my opposite hand, I take one finger and grab my eyelid and you'll see me pulling my eyelid up as comfortable, but as far as I can pull it and you'll see me placing the lash band underneath my lashes. Now the trick is to make sure that you don't put the lash 
too close to your waterline because it'll irritate you and it'll hurt and it'll scratch. So put the lash as close to your waterline as you can get it. But as you can see guys, that took a few seconds. Like the bond glue is so sticky. You don't have to do any extra. You just pull your lash line up, focus, place your lash where you want it and it sticks right on that's it like once you get started y'all it's so easy so you see me pulling it up and you see I'm close to my lash line but not on it and boom and sometimes I like to push it just a little bit to make sure all my lashes are sticking but it's that easy y'all So today I decided to use three of the Ioni Wispy Mediums on my outer corner because they are the longest lash. So this is my third and then I will follow up with the Falscara lashes. I mean, look how cute that is already, and I'm not even finished. Like, y'all, I am just too excited. I love this. So now I'm showing that I am grabbing the Falscara Medium Lashes. And I will place them directly next to the Long Lashes. What I do like about the Falscara lashes is they are longer and the band is thinner so um, it's not as irritating on your eyes or it may not stick out as much as the Dollar Tree lashes but they're really good as fillers which is what I'm doing with my lashes but they're not as dramatic and they don't give me the individual eyelash look like the Dollar Tree lashes give so like I said they're really great for fillers which is what I'm doing here and I'm almost to my inner corner so I used two and a half of the medium lashes from the Falscara kit. I will cut one lash in half to put in my inner corner because you don't want your eyelash band to be too long and you don't want it to scratch your inner corner that So I'm just taking the end of my tweezers just to push everything in place and make sure every part of the lash is stuck. So here's what they look like so far. Honestly, if you like a more simple everyday look, you can stop your look here, but I'm going to take it to a next level. So here's my trick. So this is my secret. So now I am taking the wispy short lashes and my little secret is not to seal your glue just yet. So I'm taking the bond again. I'm getting some glue on my wand. And I'm going to put the glue on the bottom of the lash extensions. I don't use a lot because I don't want the lashes to end up looking thick or bulky but I like to put a lot of glue towards the base and a little bit on the middle. Not as much as I did on my own lashes. But this is how I double my lashes without them looking bulky or fake or looking like lash strips. So I like to use just a little bit. Now you will see here I'm using my finger so I can push a lot of glue through the lashes. And I do get a little glue on my finger, but it's worth it, it's fine. Y'all, but that's my secret. That's how I make my lashes look like I went to a professional lash tech to get my lashes done.
So now I will take the wispy shorts. These are the ones in the pink pack. And I will place these in between each lash cluster. So where there's a separation between every lash, I will put a shorter lash to fill in. I also will place each lash not on the same lash band, but in front of the first lash band, if that makes sense. So if your lash doesn't stick as well, like this one, you can see is hanging just a little bit and it won't stick. Sometimes I like to take it off and take the bond glue and just put a little glue directly on the lash band. So now I will be repeating the same steps, just filling in my lashes as I see fit until I get to the inner corners. So now I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys watch. Okay, so now I'm taking my tweezers and just pushing all of my lashes, making sure that they all are stuck and that they're in place. There's nothing hanging. I am really satisfied with this look. So now I'm going to take my spoolie and my fan and it's time to seal all of your lashes. So I'm going to grab the seal side of the Falscara bond and seal and you'll see it's just a little wand so my trick with the seal is to also not get the seal on the tip of your lashes because sometimes it may leave a white residue or it'll make your lashes not look as fluffy so I like to use just the tip and put a little bit of product throughout, but I do not put it on thick. I also like to take a little bit of the seal on the opposite side of the lashes just to make sure that everything is intact. You see, I saw a little extra drops on my lash and I hurry up and wipe that off because I don't want it to make my lashes look thick. 
So once I finish with the seal, I take my fan and I also take my spoolie and I like to brush through my lashes so they don't stick together and so they dry as fluffy looking as possible. Also using the spoolie, it helps to separate my natural lashes so they don't look thick behind the false lashes. The last and final step is to take the Falscara Overnighter. It's like a small eyeliner brush, so I like to lift my lash and brush a little bit of the overnighter. I like to saturate the eyelash band, and when I get to the fibers of the lashes, I will paint in a light upward motion. You don't want this to be too thick as well. You don't want the lashes to start looking bulky. After I finish this, I will grab my fan and my spoolie again, blow dry them, and brush them out. And guys, that is it. So here's what she's looking like. This is the final result. This is my before, it's not giving, <laughs> she needs help, she needs a full set, okay? Yeah, look at the difference. And I did this at home in 20 minutes. Come on now, come on now. So I'm going to finish my other eye and I will be back with the final look. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed and you like this look, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.